in the future. But a lot of times when you get channels, a lot of times they are going on now, you just got to interpret them. You see, but I said it, it's going to be mass melanin extraction. And six months later, they came out with the melatonin pills in 94. You see what I'm saying? They came out with the melatonin pills in, in 94. Now listen, they say they will type, they will, they, they will, they will try to take this substance, substance from you. This is why you must use your will to attract those of high vibration. You see what I'm saying? Now, and one thing that means also that you can't be fucking around with crackers. You see what I'm saying? Although you got dead black people, they're all of a higher vibration than white people. You see what I'm saying? So, one level, you can't be fucking around with this beast because these beasts can take your melanin by your energy, especially, like I say, through sex. You see what I'm saying? They will come to you because AWAS, they say they will come to you because AWAS is your master, which is the form of the Christ. You see what I'm saying? So what it means is here, what it means here is, these are vampires, so the real vampire will take your melanin through temporary, they take your melanin, first of all, they take your energy when they touch you. That's why you see some white people, when they get to know you, they want to touch all over you. And you know, and I know a lot of people, when they first got dreads, you see a lot of dreads now, but white people will come up and want to touch your goddamn dreads. Or they'll come up and want to touch your hair. That's because they're taking your energy from you. They're vampires. So they can take that kind of energy by touching you. You see what I'm saying? By touching you. Uh, another way is, is um, the ones that know. The other ones, when they get behind your energy, they, they, it turns into racism. They, they, they reject against you because, you know, two damn objects might not attract each other. You know, you got two, you got different metals that, that polar, you know, polarize from each other. You know what I'm saying? So, but the ones that know, they come and try to take your energy. That's one way. Another way is through sex. Another, uh, another way is basically, is getting so bad now that they just got to just basically just snatch you. Take your whole body and, and take the parts out and make substitute. And that's the reason why they had to crush the mummies up. And they've always been eating us. You see what I'm saying? They've always been eating us for years because they are the vampires. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? And that's what they're talking about here. You see, trying to, vampire does what? Tries to suck your blood. What is blood? Blood, the, the liquid blood is only that, the liquid blood is only a fraction of what's in you as the melanin is throughout your whole blood system. You see what I'm saying? So this is what vampires really is. You see what I'm saying? So, so this whole thing that's going on now is an actuality. Now it's funny. You see how the spirit is? It's funny because I'm always observing things. We said that it came out with the melatonin pills in 94. In the summer of 94, the same year that the melatonin pills came out, the better physical books stores started getting in at least 10 of they had at least 10 or 20 books that's been released within the last three years on vampires. They got all kinds of books on vampirism. Housing ministry based on some damn black churches which we know that they can control our people that our people might not even know nothing about it but under the, the guidelines or under the people under the people who finance the church they can come they can in and they in and they in concentration camp and they're using and they this, use church this church as a front piece or uh, when you come and say well what the hell happened all these people or oh, they say well the Vine city, city housing ministry, ministry a group of black group churches of black bought up the damn land, land. You see, so they can come to the group of black churches and actually give them the finance to buy up the land because as a front piece, but the whole time they have come in and wiped out the land. So they say, we got these vacant houses. So they'll come in and tell us and say, well, you know, we're giving you the finances to buy up, buy up this stuff and work stuff and stuff start this little black business you see what i'm saying so when you ask what happened to all these people they say oh the vine city housing ministry is the one is the one that's the black church is the one that bought up all this land so they're using to put us in the census in the in the in, in the uh put us in the census in the early turn of the century they didn't have a census on black people and so all the damn black teachers preachers registered all the people you see what i'm saying registered all the people so they can use these particular they can use these people you see what i'm saying they can use these particular people as a front piece it's like a damn laundering business 
you see what I'm saying? And this is what's going on right now. So the churches is into this. Now, the new shit is this. They came on TV last week. They said that the, the poverty among black people has fallen. The lowest it has fallen, the lowest it has been since 1959. Now we know damn well that there ain't no jobs. You had, you had more jobs in 1959 than you have now. You know what I'm saying? You had, you had, you had people, you had people that had all, had all kind of positions. You, positions. You know what, what I'm saying? Hell, you, you, it's hard to even work. You, you had, had all kind of positions. You know what I'm saying? Hell, you, it's hard to even positions. Positions. You kind of positions. Hell, you, it's hard to even work in a damn kitchen now. Kitchen now. You know what I'm saying? Saying. So now. We know that the jobs is gone. We know that with the, with the Reaganomics, it had more homeless people, people than the country has ever seen. Now, wait a minute now. Let's take this shit now. This is the way they fooling people. They have produced the greatest homeless that the country has ever, ever seen, seen, seen. And the only reason why you are not reminded of the homeless now, because they done came in, came in and put them motherfuckers in concentration, concentration, concentration camp, 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 and they're making melatonin pills out of them. Okay. okay, so now, if we know there's no jobs, you see, and I, I don't know, I haven't worked on a, on a job, a, a legitimate job since 1989, but I know uh, damn near 10 years of college, the last time I just tried to come out and go out and get a bullshit job so I could pay rent, I damn near caught hell. You know what I'm saying? I damn near caught hell. You, you, like now. It's like every place else. Atlanta didn't used to be this way, but now you can lose a damn job. It might take three months to get a new one. You see what I'm saying? So I damn near car hell trying to get a bullshit job. You see what I'm saying? So my point is, there are no jobs. But, yet, but if there are no jobs, how in the hell can poverty fall the lowest it has been? 29.5%. Uh, how is that? Because now they're saying that Basically, they telling you the truth. The people that was in poverty no longer exist. So therefore, the poverty has fallen, the lowest it has ever been. Now, let's look at the magnitude. We got to go back and think a minute now. Listen, they came in and say that the poverty has fallen the lowest it has been since, uh, since 1959. Yet, in 1959, 1960, you had the unemployment rate was not as big as what the hell it is now. You understand where I'm coming from? Uh, uh, now, one minute they talk about we spending too much money in welfare, affirmative action. We can't do the health care and we are running out of money. The country going to be broke. The country, and we already know, the conscious people know the country been broke since the 1950s. Right? So now, what they're actually saying that in actuality, that the people in poverty no longer exist. So it's not saying that poverty has fallen. They're saying that the people in poverty have fallen off the planet and became so low now since 1959 have actually died. And these are the, these, these are the way they say things. You see, these are, the, these are the way they say things. You see what I'm saying? So now, look at this. They even bear witness to it in the scriptures. Uh, you see, the Bible, see, you got to trace this thing down. Because when you're dealing with the Bible, you're dealing with a very bastardized book. Although we prove that there's wisdom all through it, but it's damn near like connect the dots. It's in fragments. And so we're talking about years and years of people coming in and carving up shit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go deep into the scriptures. So now, the original scriptures of the Bible is the first four gospels of the complete gospels. This is the one coming from, um, this comes from, um, uh, the guy is Robert J. Miller is the editor. And these are the complete gospels. So anytime you get, if you want to, if you want to deal with the gospels to compare to your Bible, always get the ones that say the New Jerusalem Bible. You will see some of those. Or you can get this book, The Complete Gospels, which is only talking about first four Gospels. Because one of the four, four first four Gospels, which is what? Uh, Mark, Matthew, Mark, John, and Luke. You see what I'm saying? 
But in here, they're going to add other ones, the book of Q, the gospel of Thomas, the gospel of James, the gospel of the Savior, the gospel of Mary. The go you see what I'm saying? Now, what is this? I'm going to explain this thing to you. So if you want to get the real ones, any time you see that book with that line down the middle of the page, that's not the one you want. That means that they done carved up some shit. The one you want to get is this one, the complete gospels. It's, uh, this one costs... Um, you'll find this book in, in, in any of the stores. They're going to have some in here. Uh, but you can find this book in any, in, any of the uh, uh, Pole Bridge Press. But it's The Complete Gospel by Robert J. Miller. Now, uh, there's a section in here to bear witness to all of this that's going on. Now, to read the Bible, we come to find out that 98% all of the damn Bible is now. Never happened in the past. You see Somebody took some scriptures that was all mystical and prophetic and wrote it, historicalized it. And that's what's fucking up everything. We're going to get deeper into that tonight. Look, this is the part of Matthew that I want to read. And it says this. And the, the disciples, this is in Matthew, Matthew 17. You can get this right out of your Bible. Matthew verse 17, Matthew 17 verse 4 to 25. Matthew 17, verse 4 to 25. This, fortunately, is right in your regular King James Version. And it says this. It says, the disciples quoted him. They, they're quoting Jesus. They say that in the light of this, do, do, they say, do the scholars claim that Elijah must come first? So, they are saying that Elijah must come first. That's what the Jewish nation is on hold now. That's why they all fucked up. They've been looking for Elijah, but they're the fake Jews, so they can't receive the Elijah, but the Elijah came here. That's why they went to Ebony in 1983 and told Ebony, you got to change his name from Elijah to some, some willful tool or some kind of shit, because they knew that we got the Elijah. Now they said Elijah must come first. And it says, in response, he said that Elijah does indeed come to restore everything. So we're talking about in a period of the 20th century. See what I'm saying? Because he was born 1897. And so he didn't come until 1931 when he got the actual teaching. You see what I'm saying? Now, so some people don't believe this shit. Well, listen. The scriptures say that Elijah must come. In Egypt, they say Tehudi must come. You see what I'm saying? In, in Hebrew, it's Enoch or it's John in Christianity. It's Elijah, it's Enos also that must come. In different cultures, there's supposed to be a forerunner to the Christ that was supposed to come and set, straight, set, set shit straight. So now, whether we say we don't believe that or not, well, hell, if this, if this is going into the year 2000, even when the Christians say that the Christ is coming, and if we are just going to take the Christian script, that means that Elijah had to have come to restore the nation, he had to do it more than damn four years. You see what I'm saying? So obviously, we can bear witness that that was the one because it says in all ones that it would, it would be a forerunner. Now this is what it says, Elijah does come and to restore everything. But I tell you that Elijah has already come. So now, this is the future. Whoever is speaking is speaking right now in the future. 